Now I've moved one quarter of the way around in an anti-clockwise direction. You get a good view of the ditch here. See those stones in the background from where I was standing just now. We can follow it around and you can see another quarter of the circle over there and the ditch continuing on the other side. Fortunately, many of the stones were removed in times past, most likely for building materials elsewhere. And these trees are really amazing. This attracts a lot of tourists. Maybe because of these roots, how they are exposed on the surface. And people tie ribbons, they're called clouties. It's a very ancient tradition in the UK and probably other countries too. It's for good luck and things like this. Last year when I came there were hundreds of these. A lot of them have been taken down but there's still a few here now. Very sacred place. Ah, what a lovely sound. Well, I thought it was about time I did a video here since I visited more than any other place. Strangely, Avery isn't as well known as Stonehenge. Tourists come flocking to the UK and they go to Stonehenge and I often say to them, have you been to Avery and they don't know what it is. And that is surprising considering Avery is, again, supposedly a thousand years older. And most likely part of the same uh, environment in the sense that the two sites were most likely connected to one another and used together and a lot of people agree that and it's going to sound strange but uh, Stonehenge when you're at Stonehenge you you get a deep sense of a kind of male energy for lack of a better phrase gosh it's muddy here and Avebury is most definitely a kind of female energy that side's been locked up since last year because of erosion. I've got a car coming up my bottom, so I'm going to have to move quickly. Ah, dear. <laughs> There's a stone that's fallen there. very large. It's very difficult to climb up as well. I've tried on many occasions. I still come to Avery about four times a year. I don't live as close to it as I used to. I live about an hour and a half drive now. But it's still a very special place for me, very sacred. My spiritual home, I would call it. So I try and get up here at least four times a year. So we are inside the circle now, you can see the ditch. It is absolutely huge. And again, here's an entire village in the middle. A church, a pub, a shop, a couple of shops. So you can see this side as well. I think archaeologists have found, you know, you've got the big outer circle. There would have been stone, you can see a stone lying over there. 
So that would have been standing. There's actually another one just to the left of that one. You might be able to see it. It's to the left of the tree. And all the way around were standing stones. So there was a, a ditch, then an outer circle. And there were at least two inner circles. One just behind this house and another behind this house, which you'll see bits of in a minute. And uh, again, they found that square, which is very odd recently. Some incident going on up here. I don't usually see the police around here. So again, that's some inner circles. You can see some fallen stones here as well. And these absolute monsters behind, which I'll go to in a minute.